What's up, everyone? I'm Sahil Mithil here with two-time NBA All-Star Isaiah Thomas. Appreciate you sitting down. I uh, appreciate you having me. So starting off with your NBA career a little bit, you were with the Celtics for a while, and the amount of love that Boston showed you was insane. How was that experience for you and just having the whole city behind you? Um, it was it was a really good experience. I mean, um, it was fun. It was probably, you know, the, the coolest time in my career, yeah. success-wise. Um, the team we had and the love the city shown me since day one has, has been you know unbelievable and i always have you know real love for the city of you know boston and after boston though there were there were some issues with uh, your injury of course and uh you're traded around a little bit yeah. what was that period like for you mentally um because we we know the physical pain was there but how was it for you mentally uh mentally it was tough because i was hurt so like anytime you have a major injury and you can't compete the way you you know, feel like you should be competing. It's frustrating. So mentally it was draining, but you know, I got past that. And you know, I'm just looking for the, forward to the future, looking forward to, a, you know, opportunity with an NBA team again. And um, I'm gonna just keep fighting and keep grinding. Right, and speaking of getting that NBA opportunity again, uh, you've come to the G League now. How have you been feeling about your play so far? I mean, you've played two games here, yeah. uh, kind of an NBA call up in the middle there. Mm -hmm. How have you felt about your play so far and where do you think you need to improve? Um, I mean, I think I'm playing okay. I mean, most importantly, we got to get the win. So right. that was tough that we lost today. But um, I mean, I feel good. I feel like I could probably do a little bit more on both sides of the floor. But overall, I feel really good and really confident. And you know, what's most important, I'm healthy. Right, and your, your good friend Jason Terry is the head coach of the Gold. Yeah. Um, how instrumental was he in getting you to play here in the G League? I mean, that's the only reason why I play. That's, that's like a big brother to me. I've known him since I've been in fourth grade. Um, his, dad, his dad coached me since I was in fourth oh, grade. Wow. So that's one of my closest friends, one of my closest guys. And when he, when he brought the opportunity to me, it was a no-brainer, like to be coached by somebody I looked up to and somebody who, you know, taught me the game of basketball on and off the floor. Um, it's just a moment I got to, you know, take full advantage of. And now you've played two games here in the G League. Um, do you think that same scoring uh, – that you had uh, during your time in the league and that you showcased these last couple times uh, in the G League is something that you can bring to an NBA team on a consistent basis, or uh, is there something new that you think you can bring? Uh, I am who I am. Yeah. Like, I'm a scoring guard. Um, I've always been that. Um, I'm a killer, and that's just, you know, who I've always been. So if the opportunity presents itself with a team and they want me to be who I am, then obviously I can do that still at a high level. But, you know, I'm just trying to be a part of something. I'm just trying to help. Uh, whether that's, you know, putting, you know, the ball in the basket or, you know, helping the younger guys as, as a vet that experience, you know, more than most. Um, I'm just, you know, thankful for this opportunity, but waiting for the next one. Right, and you got that Lakers call up uh, yeah. between your first G League game and this one. Um, does that call up motivate you more uh, to want to make it back to the NBA even more and show you that you can that you're like right there right now? I mean, I'm an NBA player. Right, like the world knows that. I'm, you know, I'm finally healthy, so I'm able to showcase that. But you know, it's all about the right opportunity. Right. I mean, obviously, I'm a, you know, keep grinding and, and keep, you know, staying positive as I can, knowing that at some point, you know, opportunity got to present itself, and I'll sure. be more than ready for it. And before we finish up here, uh, we're coming off the All-Star break. You were a two-time All-Star. What's yeah. your favorite memory from uh, one of your two All-Star weekends? Um, probably my first All-Star game. It was my first one, but also Kobe Bryant's last All-Star oh, wow. game. So it was, you know, it was very emotional, but like a, a really dope moment, you know, for my, myself, but for my family as well, just to be around all those guys. And for those guys to embrace me as one of them, it, it was like, you know, it was a real cool stepping stone in my career. Well, Isaiah, hopefully we can see you back in the NBA soon, and these 42-point games are, are sure to help. You Appreciate know. you sitting down. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.